Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Dyson Sphere program. I'm currently on Lesseth 1 right now, or Lesseth 2 actually. I came over here to check on um, circuit board production because I've got a bit of a b project I want to do today, and that is automate and mass produce these quantum ch chips or quantum circuits because I need them for absolutely everything right now, and they are not easy to make. I have done some work on Lesseth. Four, which is not actually less at, less at four, I believe. Yeah. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I often forget the name of it uh, or which one it is. All right, so yeah, less at three is the actual gas giant. Now I have been doing a little bit of research, I guess. I've been kind of curious about how the Dyson spheres actually turn out after you start building up the structures, and so more or less it works like a grid pattern. And uh, I will show you in just a moment here. There we go. All right, so let's get into, let's get back over here. We'll go over to the Dyson Sphere uh, window. So, anyways, so yeah, when I go in, uh, for instance, on the these these ones, for instance, where we're actually building the structure, we have the latitude lines. Now, with research, I could un unlock up to 15. Now, I thought that was just up to what, 15, but I looked in the corner of that window, and it's actually levels. So uh, there's multiple levels to go all the way up to the very top of the sphere, so you can actually cover the entire thing. Now, what I didn't realize is I didn't actually really look at these tools too much. I knew about the color, and I knew about these things. But apparently there's actually grid options. So you can have the current grid right now, you can have like a honeycomb grid or, or like a pokeball kind of grid kind of deal, or no grid at all. So that's how people are actually getting these these um, these designs that I've been seeing. It was actually quite interesting. And we'll just go back over to here for now. Now, also, I've been trying to... I think I understand what's going on here now. So what happens is, right now, I'm just creating uh, a structural ring. There is no actual thing to it, except for the fact that it is technically generating power. It's generating like uh, 150 megawatts for all three of these rings. So when I expand up to here, then I can actually create... Uh, verti uh, connection points or vertices or whatever and connect them with lines and create polygons and these polygons are the actual cells and that's where the actual solar panels go so I won't be able to get into the next point like right now I'm doing the structural points once I get up to here I can start making the cells and then that's how I can start adding the Dyson shell or yeah the shells not cells yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, that's the actual backbone of it. Now, I have been coming up with some ideas, and uh, I do have one I kind of want to take care of in this one. Another one, too, and I didn't even notice this until I saw the screenshots, but you know, if you notice, I have these three inner rings blue. Now, you can actually, which ones were those? They're 8, 9, and 10. You can actually change the color here. I did, I did not even know that, so you can have these things any color that you want. I just chose blue for whatever reason, so that's kind of kind of interesting for decoration and stuff like that but I want to just show that and uh, show what's going on also I changed the rest of them to white just because but anyways uh, I have done some research I have uh, upgraded uh, more solar cells so they're now lasting two hours I've done minor stuff inventory uh, smelter upgrades uh, what else did I do I am currently working on we'll get that going uh, the upgraded version of the chemical app or chemical plant and that's actually what's one of the things that's holding me back because that's actually really slow in the way it does things uh, but anyways uh, I came over here and I noticed that the titanium isn't really all that full in the uh, whatchamacallit the elevator yes uh, that's the word in the elevator so um, I decided I'd uh, come down here and check it out and, and double these up I also want to like I said I want to check the uh, production of circuit boards because I want to start importing those because we're going to need those for those quantum chips. All right, and now I'm also doing more veins utilization. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, basically, it's double the speed on this uses more power, and I'm gonna have to get more ray receivers down. And there was something else. I did make a couple of more elevators too. I was trying to figure out. Nah, nah. Like I knew I had the supply, but for some reason it just wasn't reaching its destination. And it started, it started occurring to me that if I have too many demands from one station because the drones I put in there work for only that station, uh, I was putting too many demands in, so they were too busy going for one thing when I need, needed the other. So I made some extra elevators. I'm going to try to only have like two or, 
two two remote demands on one, and then they can sort of do local logistic stuff. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna continue this, and I will meet you back when uh, I'm back on uh, Lesseth three. Okay, so I'm on uh, Lesseth two, Lesseth one right now. That's how to get a whole bunch of uh, circuit boards being mass produced. Now I'm filing into here. And then the rest of them on other planets should be able to pull from it. Uh, the reason why I need these is because, like I said, for the quantum quantum chip, uh, the quantum chip requires those processors, which we're making that on the uh, the making, but that's not really the issue. It's the issue. Oh. No, we're making those, so this is just helping keeping that going. I do have to get the electronic components. Uh, these ones here are the micro crystalline component. I gotta get these going, and silicone's always been a bit, of, a bit of an issue, but I do have these going on. Let's let, let's let two. Uh, while I was there, I realized that half the reason why my production was so bad, and even here, is I was still using the Mark One uh, sorters, so they weren't really pulling out as fast. The machines were all backlogged on the inside, so they weren't actually transferring. But any, anyways, uh, yeah, it's for the quantum circuit, so. Uh, that gets us the quantum chip, which gets us the plane filter. The plane filter isn't really too bad because it's just titanium glass. And I actually have this all, all set up and ready to go on Lasseth 4. And so, yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. And now the reason why we need these is, uh, well, that's the next step of the research right there, the gravity matrix. Uh, we need the quantum chip and we need the gra graviton lens, which we are actually making here at one of the launch sites. So we'll have to look into that, and that also gets us into warp. And now I do want to actually check this out because uh, uh, there is other planets I want to go check out. Uh, if we go to Star Map, I don't know what the hotkey is for that. Uh, currently, I can go. I can see six kilometer or six light years away. Now there's a couple of close here. There's one here. This has a, a fair amount of resources, and it has a sulfuric acid ocean, so this would be a good place for. Uh, like mass bulk producing a whole bunch of stuff. The only thing that's missing though is coal and oil. And then there was another one I was checking out too. You're too far away. No, uh, where were you here? It was this one. In this one we have the the optical creating lens or crystal that we can actually make those Casimir crystals. But the recipe calls for eight per crystal. So I'd rather do it this way because it's more plentiful. As you can see, there's a lot, uh, quite a bit of stone and tons of titanium there. And a water ocean, that's not bad. Uh, a whole bunch of fire ice in the ground, too. So I was thinking, was it this one? Or, I can't remember which one it was, but uh, it was part of one of the things I was thinking about doing in this episode, but not quite, yeah. I uh, was setting up uh, free materials and other things that need, like the graphene and the hydrogen. Uh, set up on one of these stars, but the problem is though is uh, if I go in here there's actually a warp, a uh, space warper every time one of these drones goes from one star system to another it has to use two of these so one there and one back now we can craft them out of the graviton lens or we can get eight of them out of a out of a hang on space warper, yeah eight of them out of one research core now that's actually not too bad because the research is relatively simple it's just a matter of throwing a quantum chip in it which really isn't a lot it's just a lot of processing to go through like organic crystals and the plastics and all that stuff but anyways uh yeah i wanted to get this set up we are doing fairly well i'm set on remote supply and i have to go and get on remote man so i'll meet you on less of four and we'll continue what do you know i actually landed at the new site Anyway, so yeah, this is it. Uh, I have Casimir Crystal being mass produced. It's actually doing fairly well. Uh, we're having hydrogen problems again. I might have to get another uh, orbital collector uh, up around less than four again. I do have another a couple of elevators. Uh, okay, we're good here. We're nice and full. Alright, so I wanted circuits. Now, I guess, uh, I guess the next step is to start getting into the titanium glass. Now, I was making that somewhere. I believe I was making it on Lesseth 1. And I was just there, so I should have checked. What would be nice? Actually, I wonder if... No, we can't do that. You know, you can actually look at the planets and actually see what production you had on there. But I guess I have to go. And uh, as far as I know, you can't actually fly through these things. Oh, my God. Definitely starting to... 
take some shape. That's for sure. How are we doing for power, guys? 500 million? We have... Look at that. Uh, just the rings alone are almost half the power that we're generating now. Which is something else. So I could dismantle, disable the sails if I wanted to. But again, like I said, I do have ideas now. Oh, I missed less than one. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Well, anyway, enough rambling. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So what I decided is uh, we're not actually going to go make the quantum quantum chips here. We're going to just make the the plane, the plane filters. Since I've already got the Casimir crystal, all I really need to do is make the titanium glass. I have gone ahead and put titanium in here because we're actually using it here. And then I've got titanium glass coming in. Uh, I've got it piped in from the main base. And it's looking like i got to add some... Passive sorters or conveyors or something. But anyways, so that is here now. So now we can pull that out and start doing... We're out of hydrogen. Again. Hmm. That's why I need to get another orbital collector, I believe. Now, what do I need for that thing? Oh, yes, those things. We actually have a, a few of those up on the one. So let me get the hydrogen dealt with. Actually, in the meantime, we're actually producing it right here. So let's just go ahead and I'll bring this over here for now. Connect this into the, the whole system and get it providing. Come on. There we go. Alright. Uh, eventually this is going to fill up, so I'm going to have to start using this eventually. I don't know how, what I might do with it, but I might get into the, the fracking or something like that. The fracking, the, the refining where you can get extra... Hydrogen or whatever, but anyways, that'll keep the crystals going. We have a thousand already. That's actually not too bad. All right, so now we need to get, uh, need to get another assembler set down to make a plane filter. Uh, actually, well, you know, let me see how we're doing with the the. Oh yeah, I guess we're setting them both up. Let me think of something here. Okay, I'm back. So what I decided, uh, I went and fixed the titanium glass situation. So it's actually starting to stockpile over at uh, Lesseth 1 here. So what I decided is uh, instead of doing anything else here, we're just going to go ahead and start porting this over to... Oh, well, let's go right into this one here. It just happens to be here. Whoa. Uh, let me through. There we go. That's why I fly. I fly because I can't walk. Trip over conveyors and everything else. I lay in my path. All right. We go like that. We'll set you to take you Casimir Crystal Remote Supply. And oh yeah, we need a we need a sorter. Yes, always need a sorter. Okay, and that should be good. All right, crystals are on their way. I don't think I need to really go any higher than that. I'm producing 30 a minute, and this this sorter can do three trips a second. So yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so now now we go back to Leseth One. Uh, oh, let me get into orbit here. I also want to check the dice. And the, let's see how we're doing. Okay, so yeah, we got almost. We got 10,500 sales now. That's from uh, adding the extra, God knows how many minutes, probably. I think it was only like 15 minutes or something I've added. But uh, we also have some research that is still ch slowly chugging along. But what I'm going to do here is probably going to speed that up a little bit. Since we're taking the Casimir crystals in now, uh, I do have to f change a few things because I'm just using, still using the assembler and I'm calling in all the titanium crystals and the graphene and the hydrated to make them oh what do you know i landed at the right spot again sweet uh, i've been trying to get these graviton lenses running a little bit faster they are a bit of a snag because they require those electromagnetic motors uh which are not in there in the particle trap and these things are a pain in the ass to make because of the motors and the rings at the same time so maybe what i'll do if i can Put a couple of extras in there, just to speed you up a little bit. Because, uh, yeah, it goes into these and all that stuff. Anyway, 
So now we have Casimir crystals ready to go. Let's go here. Okay, I don't need that. We can get rid of that. Uh, I don't really need the hydrogen, but that's going to flood my inventory. So we're just going to change that to remote store or no uh, remote storage. And uh, yeah, local storage for now. Oh, you know what? I think somebody needs it, so we'll do that. And uh, what else did I? What else were we using in here? Graphene, okay, so we don't actually need that. What are you still using? Oh. Anyway, uh. Hmm. I'm not actually using this. Let's get rid of that. And we'll just bring the crystals out on this side here then. Bring them out and see if I can. Get them into here somehow. Wait, where are the other ones coming from? Hmm, I guess I should, let's, should take that out. You know what, let's do it. Get rid of that. And we'll just come over through and I'll figure out the conveyors later. Uh, come on, come on, let me in there. Uh, up one. There we go. And then let's go down and... Really? It's almost like I've never used conveyors before. Uh, there's always something in the way. Always. Or... Maybe it just doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Alright, that should get our plane filters moving a lot faster, which means that our uh, quantum circuits are going to go a lot faster. Which means I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to put a splitter in here, because I want to send the, send the quantum, half the quantum circuits, circuits back if I can. Uh, again, we'll go ahead and move some of that, probably put that storage back in here just, just as a buffer. Uh, okay, and then... Uh, oh, wrong conveyor. Actually, it wasn't wrong conveyor. It was the wrong output. Wait, did I not ca call it? Oops. Did I not call the Casper crystals in? I did not. Uh. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay. Good. So I'm going to change this to... Uh, local storage and remote supply. Let's get rid of it while we can. Yeah, that's why I forgot to set the, set the output on the side here. There we go. And now, I have to clean up my mess. Actually, what I wanted to do, I didn't want to send them back to the other planet. What I wanted to do is I want to make the research cores here and then send them back. Send those back. So now where do I put places? Because I need the quantum chips and I need uh, the gravity lens, which is over here. If oh, let's stick it right there then. I need some power, and then I can. Uh, oh, that's a logistics one. I'll have to send over to the other one there. All right. So yeah, let me get these piped in, and then we'll start sending some research back. Okay, that is done. So all I have left to do is put, uh, again, one more sorter on here, because I always forget them. Go ahead, and we are going to be producing gravity matrix. Two and a half minutes, so it is kind of slow. Uh, can I actually make more of these things? Sure, let's build three more. Alright, while that's doing its thing, let's go over here. And we're going to go ahead and set this to... Uh, what are we doing here? Re oh, no, no, no. Get rid of that. It'd be gravity matrix. Fifty-two hours it took me to make that. Wow. And yeah, remote supply. Okay. Then I'll have to set that to remote demand at the other end there. And we have research going. Yay. Of course the gravity 
uh, quantum chips won't last too long. Uh, we are getting backed up, so I may be able to actually double this up, maybe. I would have to d definitely improve the speed of those. Uh, again, I did have a backlog on less of uh, four. So I gotta go back there and see what's going on with that. And we are a long way away, so I'll meet you there. And we almost have a full ring. Cool. Actually, I should check to see how many pieces we have already, but we're gonna need a lot more. Okay, I'm back. So now we gotta figure out how we're gonna pipe these things into the, uh, the research facility. Oh, that's right. They're not gonna pick up unless there's 200 or 10%. Don't think. I'll leave it at 10% and see what happens. Uh, I'm sure we'll get 200 sooner or later. But now, uh, what I gotta do is I gotta pipe this out. And we are gonna change that to research cores. Come on, there we go. I'm gonna see if I can sneak this all the way to the back there. I do have to put a splitter on it because I forgot I got two research towers. Hmm. Let me do this. Well, after many hours and many, many, many trips back and forth between like Le Leseth 1 and Leseth 4, I'm back. And I think I have made some progress. Uh, research was sort of backing up a little bit, so I've been sort of manually feeding crystals in here, but I've had to do so many upgrades here alone, just the way things have been progressing I'll say uh, what I have done is I have gone ahead and uh, made a couple of the uh, mark 2 chemical plants uh, just to keep this area going a little bit because this is all for research uh, far as titanium glass I have significantly sig significantly expanded production on it and it seems to be holding up uh, that was one of the sort of the bottleneck at the other end was getting the titanium glass up there uh, research cores, we have quite a few research here already, and we have 2,800 in here, oh, yeah, 2,800 in there. Now, I have been doing other little things, I just did level one of the logistics carrying it just for the planetary drones, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel that, and then we're going to go back in here, and then, as I thought, there's a, uh, a tier two, or level two of this. This is actually double the cost. Uh, these, I'm not worried about. I actually have enough of these. It's just these ones, and it's this titanium crystal. It's a pain. We're going to go ahead and activate that. Now, I do have an idea for this. Uh, what I do want to do, too, is go back to Let's Hath 1 and see how we're doing out there. Uh, I, from what I saw, we were getting a bit of a backlog of circuits, so that's pretty good. And look at that. That second ring is almost completely, almost halfway. Uh, I will be, I don't know which ones, I will be removing at least one of these rings. Might be the, the middle one for sure. I, we might get into planning fairly soon. I already have the first first two nodes, but then uh, like the... I'll show you, I'll show you in here. Uh, as you can see, I have the... The first 15 north, 15 south. So it gives me 30 degrees. And the grid spacing on this is actually here. Which isn't too bad, but you can't, can not only go so, so close on them. Like if I go to, uh, I go to the free, free mode, for instance. Place a node. And it's only so close you can get. So there's so much we can do, but we do have the curvatures and all that stuff. But we'll go back to here and hope I don't miss my stop. And I did. Where are you? There you are. All right. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I uh, unlocked the mouse cursor. Okay. So let's go over here and see. Maybe. We've, uh, well, I have disabled the guns because I don't want to actually launch anything until I do some more planning. But I want to see how things are going over here. So as you can see, I have topped up the research. Uh, I have been feeding these in here, 
uh, manually I have it going through a splitter so half it goes in here half it goes down here but I do want to keep these for the for the warp cores I can use a research cores to do it but the research cores are semi valuable alright let's see how we're doing over here okay I have 300 circuits ooh those are circuits right or quantum chips whatever 300 quantum chips so that means I can get 300 rockets but that's not quite enough uh, and now you can see it's a Casimir crystals that are running short supply. Oh, back up we go. We'll go back to less of that four. Uh, we'll see if we can straighten that out and then we'll do some planning. I think we'll call the episode here because I've been working on this all day. I actually decided to take a break for a couple hours. There's just so much going back and forth. Maybe I had to go to do a few things on less of one, I think. Just everything, all the things I had built were like low tier, so they weren't keeping up. Or was it the biggest problem was I wasn't realized realizing the actual absolute scale of the operation. Like I'm wondering if there's actually a statistic that will tell you exactly how many solar sails you've launched up into uh, to the Dyson swarms up there, wherever they. Somewhere up there, I'm fine. Clouds. Anyway, all right. Where am I here? I, I'm getting pretty good at my lines lately. All right. Uh, hmm. See, these crystals are always a problem. Already upgraded that. All right. We need more plastic. Probably upgrade that one. Do I have enough to do it? No. And that's the problem right there. That strange matter. I actually had to sit up there and wait at the particle collect particle collider to for it to produce it and make it. So we'll probably have to do that, but eh, that is a lot. Still got lots in there, so it's okay. Anyway, um Casimir crystals. Let's we'll see what's going on over there. And almost like I've been flying like flying before. Another hundred. It's just slow. Need more upgrades. Need more quantum chips. Alright, I'll go grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I also didn't realize that I had I already had a whole bunch of the Mark II kilns. Oh, I, oh, I didn't. I was going to say I forgot I had a whole bunch of the Mark II's already made, but I didn't actually have Mark II's made. That was Mark I's. Mark I's. But I can make four more, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to upgrade these. I have made some assemblers, so let's go ahead and start upgrading these ones for for starters uh, okay let's see make sure that they're getting their supply in time plenty of time all right and every time I see the graphing I keep reminded about the obscene amount of graphing that's building up over at the the main area there uh, what else do we can do, we do here probably could get another one of these set up I think you can almost double it. I'll make sure that these aren't going down. Yeah, that's about it. Because these can't get go any further until these start producing more. And they will be able to do that in just a moment, I believe. Aha! Hopefully that solves the problems. Uh, let me see how this shit does and I'll bring you back and let you know. Well, after a couple of days and a few hours of off-camera work of just like completely re uh, ramping up production, I've been having having issues. Uh, Titania was actually one of them. I had to go back to uh, SF2 and uh, start increasing the number of smelters I had there. But as you can see, we have a lot of this, uh, the gravity matrix queued up. In fact, we have 3,000 in the elevator. I have done some research off camera. I have uh, increased drone capacity of all the vessels uh, by uh, basically double capacity. So the, the interplanetary ones are doing 400 per trip instead of 200 now. And then I think the, the small drones are doing like 50 or something like that. Uh, but I am almost done with here uh, the level 2 of... Uh, uh, up, 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 up. 
this thing here. The strut, uh, the strut. Stress system, yes, that's what it is. Uh, so far, things have been more or less holding up. I do actually have. Uh, where are they there? Uh, I know I mailed them. There we go. I made four more launch silos. I'm hoping that uh, the quantum chips can hold up. If not, I might have to double up that production that's over there right now. But we should be just about done. In fact, let's go up to Leseth 1, get ready for this. So, um, in the next episode, I want to do some actual planning. All right, there we go. Another 15 degrees. That actually gives us a considerable amount of room to deal with. Uh, this kind of works for what I have planned, but uh, we'll look and see what the next level actually costs. Let's uh, relock that mouse, speed up a little bit, and see if we can crash right into the planet. Uh, I haven't decided exactly where I'm going to build this thing, this idea of mine. Got some ideas though, but it's really a matter of where I want to set it up. But anyways, uh, where are we here? We're actually in the right spot. My, like I said, my landing's been getting so good lately. Anyway, uh, let's see what we got for chips. We have 1400. That's actually not bad. I don't have to worry about... Uh, research too much. I could probably hold off on the gravity matrix, but let's see what level 3 costs. 4,000. And you know what? I think I might actually have enough for this. Let's get out of here and uh, see if we have an elevator here. Got 200 here. We have queued up for chips. We might actually be able to uh, stop this. Possibly. Anyway, uh, yeah. Um, what was I gonna do here? I had one of those moments. Uh, hold on a moment. I'm sorry, this old brain don't work like it used to. Uh, what I want to actually want to do is cue this up. Now, this is the one that I'm gonna have trouble with. Is the titanium crystals are honestly they're an absolute pain to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and cue this up and see what we can do. Uh, I do have to wrap up production at the other end. But what I want to do is, since we do have an abundant supply of solar sails, and I can't remember what the recipe was for these things, where are they? Uh, graphene, oh, we got tons of graphene. What are, what are those things again? Let's see. Prisms and circuits, that's actually really easy. We could easily ramp up solar sail production, but I have an idea for that. Uh, Go back in here for a moment. Just see what we have here. Now, ideally, I would like to have this other area here for this idea that I have, but as far as where I want to put it, I'm not really too sure. Uh, we're definitely going to do some planning in the next episode, but uh, let's let's go back to Leseth 4 quickly. We'll check up on the titanium crystals. Where are we here? There we are. It is kind of cool. I like it. Can't wait till we actually start getting some structure in here. But anyway, I'll meet you back there and we'll quickly go over a little bit of planning and um, go from there. Okay, well, it seems it's not actually the, the yellow ones that we're holding back on. It's actually the purple ones. And that's because I'm having issues with the uh, number of these particle broadbands. Now, I'm looking at the, the assembler, like, realistically, like, it's filling up fast. I could probably get a couple of these going at the same time. I got so much of this graphene that I can use. Uh, this is actually holding up pretty good, but I could probably get a second or third line going to start producing these, get the research going, but as you can see, it's, it's going to take a little while. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it here because this episode's getting a little bit long, and then uh, I'll take care of this stuff off camera, and then in the next one we'll start doing some planning, and uh, we'll start building something. Anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.